Hello everyone, this is JVB from TalkingAboutGames.com. I'm going to show you two applications for the Surface RT tablet that focus around podcasts. Not creating podcasts, but listening to podcasts. I'm going to show you how they work and explain the differences between the two. I'm also, at the later half of this video, going to show you how to use your SD card as a hard drive. So check it out. Here we go. So the first one we're going to check out is Slap Dash Podcast. It is $1.99 in the Microsoft Store. And it has a sleek interface that use, it utilizes the Metro or updated Windows 8 Slate. It is a lot of words. Slate interface. It's pretty cool looking. And here you can do pretty much everything in regards to finding a podcast or subscribing to a podcast. So I'm going to demonstrate how you can browse different catalogs. You have a search feature. Here you have technology, lifestyle, food, movies. You can even look for video game podcasts. You also have the option of checking out audio or video podcasts. And I'm going to show you a video, video podcast in just a second. Now here you can see, for example, IGN Fix, you have AWO, all the popular podcasts, WTF, which is a very funny podcast. Now here I'm going to show you how the video podcast, how that operates, because the interface and the functionality work the same way between audio and video. So I'm going to check out technology because, let's face it, I'm doing a, a video based on technology right now. So the Vergecast, I'm going to try that one out because that is a video podcast. So here you'll see that I'm pointing at video feed. It will give you a description of the show. Now if you tap on the episode and drag down, which if you're a Surface owner, you're familiar with that feature. It gives you a sub-menu. You have the option of playing, or you can simply tap on the episode and play it from there. And the guy is like, hey everybody, I am Elvis Presley. Who are you? And the other guy is like, I'm sleepy. So there you can pause it, play it, or go back. You can even fast forward. And as you can see, it's decent quality. Of course, you need Wi-Fi, which is one of the drawbacks of the Surface RT, but that's okay. And, of course, you can see the full description of the podcast or videocast, if you want to be technical. So I'm bouncing around. I'm fast-forwarding here. And you get to scroll through various episodes. You can subscribe right from the menu system. So let's go back to home. Now, what if you wanted to find a podcast of your choice? So in the bottom left-hand corner, you can add podcast. The only thing here with uh, Slapdash is that you're going to need to have the exact URL for the RSS feed for the podcast that you want. Now, Push Pod, it's, it's a free application. It's a little more direct. It doesn't have the sleek interface of Slapdash. Try saying that really quick. So I fast forwarded a little bit. Now what it did was it's, it's syncing every episode for the podcast. This is the Post Game Report. This is my video game podcast. And I'm scrolling through every episode of the Post Game Report. We're currently up to 200 and, uh, episode 211. So here I'm going to download episode 210 it gives you the option to delete or download and i'm going to fast forward really quick so that you're not sitting here it's not a long podcast fairly short file and same thing you can click on uh dragging down uh, when you click on the episode and it gives you the option to download. Now you cannot stream. 
So that is the difference between the two applications. One is simply streaming. Uh, PushPod is all downloads. And there you see a description on the right side, letting you know what to look for when listening to the podcast. And you have the basic controls in the bottom. So what if you want to add a podcast? Well, it's self-explanatory. You hit the big old plus sign and you can this time type in the name of the podcast. Now you're not going to be able to see it, but I'm typing in ESPN. So once I type in ESPN, it will show me the millions of podcasts under the ESPN brand. And I get to choose which one I want to subscribe to. So when you subscribe, when you're hitting add, it will automatically subscribe to that specific podcast. And when it's syncing, it's going to automatically download the newest episode. So if you're familiar with iTunes, this is very similar in the way it operates and coordinates these podcasts. Or shall I say, organized podcasts for you. Then you have the option to manually download various episodes. So those are two podcast specific applications that you can download in the Microsoft store. Check them out. One is $1.99. The other one is free. Test them out. Uh, Slapdash, you can test out for free and see if it's worth the $1.99 price tag. Now we're going to go into something, something pretty special here. Now, there are a few steps to follow before you actually begin this. Here you're looking at my actual hard drive space. So what you're going to do is when you insert an SD card, it's going to read E SD card or whatever the name is. What you're going to do is go under user, the name of your computer, which in my case is JVB. And you see that right there and click on JVB and create a folder and call it, let's say JVB SD card. Once you do that, copy the directory address and you're going to see me do it here in just a bit and uh go to set search type in disk and under settings go to the second choice create and uh, format disk properties so once you have that directory which on the left hand side you're going to see me do it users jvb and in my case extra once I click on extra, I copy and paste the directory address. Now you're going to want to do this because on the right hand side, I'm going to click on my SD card, which is up there and it's going to read E. So that's how you're going to know it's your SD card. In my case, I already did this. So it's showing as C It's showing as an extension of my actual hard drive. So you're going to select the second option down. Then you're going to copy and paste that directory address which is user jvb extra you hit okay and in my case i'm hitting cancel so it's going to show up as jvb extra and e in the name of your sd card once you uh do this do the top uh directory copy and paste you uh, remove the e drive you click on the E drive and hit remove and it's going to ask you to, it's going to verify that you're doing that. You hit okay. And that's it. Now your SD card is going to read as an, as part of your actual hard drive. So here you see videos. And when I extend the menu, you see video C that is actually my SD card. And you see all the movies that I have under video C. Now, what I did is before I even did all this, I created the folders in my SD card. You could do this before or afterwards. So we, what you're going to do is once you're done adding user JVB extra, you're going to right click on videos, go to properties and hit add. And then you're going to search for your SD card name under users, blah, 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 blah. And then hit the video folder and it'll say add folder. Once you apply that, you will see that 
videos C or whatever you name your video directory is going to appear on the videos. You could do the same thing with pictures, documents, mu uh, mu music, excuse me. So let's say you want to go to uh, music and here what I'm doing is I'm setting the videos C directory as my default save location and then you hit apply. So let's say you want to go to pictures, you right click pictures, you go to properties and you're going to hit add folder. I'm going to show you right here. So you'll see my pictures C. So it's under all of them. And I had to do that manually. Once I added my SD card as a C drive. So what this is going to do is when you download something from the internet, whether it's music or movies, you have the option to download it directly into these folders. And here I'm showing you that my song is my, mu well, my music is working off of the SD card. And if I'm confusing you with my dialect, I apologize. You can uh, ignore my voice, even though it's truly sexy, and just watch the video, uh, the walkthrough in the video. And it's pretty simple. It's really simple. If you have trouble, just hit me up. Now, here, my movies are supposed to show up uh, in the videos section. For some reason, they're not. And that's part of the main reason of doing all this is that you, your default UI, which is this Metro UI, uh, by default, it does not show what you have on your SD card. With this method, it's supposed to show my music. And even though I don't have any music, well, I do have some music, one song. It's supposed to show that song, but um, I gotta, I gotta figure out. Maybe I have to refresh or something like that. Who knows? Uh, the other day they were all showing, so obviously I'm doing something wrong. And here I'm showing the movies that I have in my SD card, and all of these movies I downloaded. Well, I <clears throat> copied from my own personal. Uh, movie collection and I put them straight into my SD card now the beauty of this and it's somewhat of a design flaw or maybe it's a way to protect the actual surface device I don't know why Microsoft did it but the fact that we have to use an SD card to secure more space more hard drive space it's somewhat of, of a slight inconvenience. I can live with it though because I'm tech savvy but hopefully some of you who didn't know that this possibility was there for you hopefully it helps you guys. Oh what movie is this? So he's asking him where did you buy that mask? It's beautiful. I bought it at Macy's. And there goes the troopers. Uh, I have to pee. Anyway, so there you have it. Um, I have a, a cool application really quick I want to show you guys. Uh, it's MU7800. It's an Atari emulator. And it has nearly every Atari game that I can remember. Uh, from, ten, from the 2600 to the 7800. Absolute, ColecoVision, Activision, all, all kinds of awesome old school video games that a guy in my age range uh, grew up enjoying and loving uh, the graphics are horrible I will admit but just the nostalgia factor is pretty awesome so there you have it folks if you have any questions just message me and I will help you out take care everybody